Who were you no game? Mega Man crossed wires. Hello, all of you wonderful people out there. This is Andre the Game Idea Guy, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of Why You Know Game, and the title, obviously, Mega Man Crossed Wires. And someone's wondering, why would I name something that probably? So, um, I had a thought about this, like, way, way, way back when I played a beautiful Joe Red Hot Rumble. And that's basically the beautiful Joe version of Smash Brothers. Like, it's very Smash Brothers-like, and it's a fun game. Like, really, it fits it within the universe of Beautiful Joe so very well. And it's not like it's a bad Smash Brothers clone. It's not as good as Smash Brothers, but it's not a bad clone of Smash Brothers in any means. And I was thinking to myself, why hasn't Capcom done this with Mega Man? With the varying different Mega Men that there are that exist. You have Mega Man Classic, Mega Man X, uh... Mega Man Volnut, or Rockman, depending on what region you're in. You have Mega Man from the uh, the Network Transmission, or Battle Network Series. Battle Network Series is what it is. Uh, you have Mega Man from Star Force. You have the ZX characters. There's a lot of different versions of Mega Man in his varying friends and enemies so i was thinking about this like why couldn't we have a game in which these characters just like are like their worlds are crossed up crossed up which is hence the name crossed wires and robotic and they're either robotic or some form of an electronic entity so i was thinking about that and i was like Capcom could do really well with something like this because people would want something like this. And, and yes, it was redundant for them to ask if people wanted more Mega Man when they've been basically being told by their fan base forever that they want more Mega Man. But I'm not going to hold that against them. I'm going to let the... Like, maybe they're just trying to gauge interest and actually see if people really want Mega Man and people aren't just saying it. But the only real way is to actually put some games out. That being said, <clears throat> if they did a, a Mega Man game in that style, like where you have you have Mega Man Classic X, um, Battle Network Mega Man, Rock Man, Mega Man Volnut uh, from the Legend series, and very other Mega Man characters like multiple versions of Zero or the ZX characters and some of their enemies and multiple versions of some of their enemies, like have classic Cutman meet the Battle Network Cutman, and so, so on and so forth. Like things like that. But like they could they could have a huge roster. They don't have to. But like they don't have to make it extremely big. But like thirty or forty characters would be something pretty cool. Obviously, some fan favorites are going to be left out because that's not like. Honestly, if they were going to try to include everyone in the roster for something like this, they would need like 200 some odd slots, and that's not really doable. <laughs> to be to be honest, that's just not doable for for this at all. But I mean, like a 40 character game, like 30 to 40 characters would be amazing. Like you get different variations of Mega Man. And different variations of Zero. You get Proto Man. You get Base. The, the variations of those characters. Uh, different variations of Roll. Though I probably wouldn't use Legends Roll because she's not really a fighter. She's more of a mechanic. But you, you can understand where I'm coming from. It would be something interesting. I think it would be really cool, and it would probably be really fun to play. And then think about it. And when anybody's defeated. They could just blow up in the classic Mega Man style, and just boom, and the parts goes flying all over the place in little orbs, and and it would be cool. Like, and it would fit in with that cartoony, that cartoony fun that type violence that Smash Brothers is known for. And like, if you look at Mega Man and Smash, he plays very well if you know how to use him. You can't just play with him and spam the Mega Buster; you'll get your behind beat. But it's he's a fun character to play with like he's one of my favorites even though i don't main him in smash oddly enough with him being like my favorite mascot character but obviously 
I don't make him smash because I main link. That that doesn't make doesn't make me not play with him. So, uh, but that being beside the point, I don't know why I brought that up. It would be an interesting experiment for the Mega Man series, and honestly, I, I swear I've heard people say something like this before. But like, I mean, I had the idea like six or seven years ago where I thought about this, and I was like, man. It would it would really be cool. Like I I could see it working out, and then you could just use classic. Like you could use very popular locations from within different Mega Man games. Like um, from the Battle Network series, you could use the the uh, World Three, like their um. Uh, I'm trying to think, like the World Three's net or code or whatever. I'm trying to think of what they call it. Their cyberspace that's within their computers. That's what I was thinking of. Or you could use um, the location from Mega Man Zero, where Zero was located by Seal. Seal. And that would be an interesting location to use. Or uh, Wily's Castle from Mega Man 2. There's a lot of places that they could just utilize for this type of battle setup. And it, honestly... Like I said, it would be really fun. It'd be interesting. It'd be cool. I mean, anyway, I think it would be good. And I think a lot of Mega Man fans would appreciate it. And I'm pretty sure that Capcom would make more than the money back that they need for this type of game. And not necessarily saying that they have to put it on a Nintendo console. But they could ask Nintendo for advice on how to build this type of game. And utilize that as their basis for it. Because Mega, obviously Nintendo's teams are very good at making Smash type games. Even though I know Smash wasn't the first one of its kind like that. But I don't remember the, the first game that, that actually was that style. But what I'm saying is that they've perfected the formula. And Capcom could seek out advice from them on how to make that type of game. That way it would be included on a Nintendo console, but it could also be on other platforms, which would be cool. And, again, I I can't say how, how many times, tell you how many times I, w- I can say that this is an interesting and, and worthwhile endeavor for Capcom to take on. It would be definitely something really cool. Like, I know I would love it. I would go out and buy as many copies of it as I could. <laughs> so... And and that's because I'm I'm just like a Mega Man fan through and through, so uh, like I'm I'm going to support it if it's a new game and it's good and it's interesting. I'm going to support it. Like I have all of the Battle Network series, I have all of the X series, I have all of the Classic series, I have all of the Zero series. Um, I don't have the ZX series. I'm going. I actually got to go buy those games. But either way, I and. I play those games. I have all of the I have all of the games in the Legend series too. So yeah, I I'm definitely a Mega Man fan. I will play them. But that's really it. I'm going to shut up now. Thank you guys very much for listening. Keep your eyes and ears out for more of my stuff. And until the next time, enjoy your games and peace out.